Hello everyone, in this video lesson, I'm going to show you all you need to know about the JAM computer-based CPT examination. All the points I'll be giving you are based on our experience supervising the mock examination that just recently concluded, that was recently concluded. Now, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I want you to hit the subscribe button now so that you can get updates that can help you score very high in your exams. Just the right button and you will be done in getting notifications regularly. Now, as you prepare for uh, the JAM UTME exams, the following points I'm going to give you in these following slides is going to help you uh, prepare well. It's going to help you prepare your minds for what you are going to see in the examination hall. Definitely, the computer-based test is very easy, but it will be for a very short duration. So get yourself prepared. Now, point one, I want you to note that the examination will start by 8 a.m. And this is going to be in all the CPT centers in the country. And that is why you remember when you were doing your registration, JAM advised you to choose a center that is close to you so that before 8 a.m. you should be at the center. So get yourself prepared to start the exams by 8 a.m. Point two, I want you to note that the time duration for the whole exams is going to be two hours and everyone is required to log in at the same time. Now you'll be given two hours for 180 questions from four subjects. So, from my own opinion, you'll be required to use 40 seconds or less for one question. That means you should learn to maximize your time. Do not spend much time on one question. If you find one question very difficult, leave it and go to the next question. Now, point three, we want you to also note that malpractice will be less in the exam hall because the examination will be monitored on CCTV cameras. So, be well prepared in advance. Practice, practice, and continue practicing all your core subjects. Point four, we are also going to remember that this is a CPT test, so you're already timed on the system. Once your time is up, the system automatically locks you out. So try to submit all your result, all your exams before the last few minutes. Remember, no extra time. Will be given to you so try as much as possible to submit before the last few minutes now point five you'll be given an opportunity to use both the mouse and the keyboard of uh, the system you'll be given now the mouse will be used for the exams but the keyboard shortcuts will mean a lot to you because it's going to help you save a lot of time now if you are already taking the exam a key, just press A key, it's used to choose option A. The B is for option B, the C is for option C, the D is for option D. Now, if you want to go back to the previous question because you want to check if your option was right, press the P. P will take you back to the previous word section. And this is very important. Instead of looking for your mouse and looking for the arrow that will point you forward or backward, just press your P, it takes you back. And then you can use the arrow to continue navigating or you can use the front arrow key to continue going forward. Take note of these shortcuts. It's going to help you a lot to save what, to save time. Now, point C. In, in point six, rough sheets will be provided for all candidates, especially for those candidates who will be writing maths, physics, and chemistry. So take note. Do not bother to come to the examination hall with your own rough paper or sheet. It will be provided for you at the examination hall. Point six, calculator will be located at the top end, at the top uh, of the examination uh, screen or interface. But trying to get that computer each time you want to solve a question will waste your time in bringing it. So. The best thing I will advise you is this. Do the best you can. Let me teach you this first way of uh, getting your computer and then minimizing it 
for when you need it. Now, let's try this. I'm going to minimize this. You just come here. If you come here in the search option of your computer, you see it to come up. You type word calculator. And once you type calculator, the calculator will come up. You see it. It will definitely come up. Then you click what open. Once you open, click open, the computer, the calculator will open and you will see it found, you see it over here. That is what you see. You see it over here. It will be opened and you see it. If you type calculator, you see it. If you say open it, it's going to be opened. And the next thing you see, you see your calculator on the screen. So this is the best method because once you get your calculator on the screen, you can minimize it and you can call it faster when you want, when you need it, as you do what, as you carry out whatever calculation you want to carry out. Just find that. So if you don't need it, you minimize it. When you call it up, it's fast. It comes up and uh, that. So once you get your laptop or your desktop computer for your exam, search for the calculator and minimize what. And minimize it now let's go back to uh, the the show we are going to look at point eight now in point eight there is going to be a total of 180 questions as, as I've told you 60 will be on English 40 from each of the selected subjects that is related to your course of study now if you will be giving 180 questions I will suggest you use 40 minutes each for the three subjects for each of the three subjects. If you are taking physics, chemistry, and biology, spend 40 minutes in physics, 40 minutes in chemistry, 40 minutes in biology, and finally spend your 60 minutes for English. Now, this would be a total of 180 minutes. Now, the remaining 20 minutes, I want you to see the need of going back and then look for all those tough questions you left use 10 minutes to go through them and then use five minutes to round up all your everything and then use the last five minutes to check all your work and then submit this will help you manage your time wisely because time management is of essence in your jam utme exams now in point nine the time allocated to you for the exams will be displayed at the top right side of your screen just like you see it the first is the hours the second is the minute and this is the seconds and it will continue counting down so before you get to the last minute please and please submit your examination so maximize the use of your time and don't waste much time on one question that is very very important now point number 10 once you log in the first thing you see is the instructions for the examination that will be displayed on your screen. Read this instruction very well because examination works goes with instruction. Then use the navigation key to either just like this to either move up, move down, move left and right and then and, and you can also use that alongside with your word with the short cuts I've showed you on the keyboard. It is faster working with the keyboard so make sure you regularly use the keyboard now point 11 take note of this is very important all the questions you answer once you answer any question they will change to green and the unanswered questions will remain what red so this will help you differentiate the questions you have answered from the ones you have not what answered so that when you are going back to those tough questions you know that those questions on red those ones on the red are the ones you have not done what answered. Finally, my advice to you, the timing for the exam is very, very short and the exam is very strict. There will be no room for extra time. So use your time wisely. The answers are somehow easy but tactical. So any question you don't understand, please, please and please kindly leave it and move to the next question. The 20 minutes I told you you should save can be used to get back to such question. And then you will be assured that you have done close to 80% of what you need to get accurately. In 20 minutes, you can now use it to go through all that question and then tick the right option. This will help you save my time. This will help you get a lot of questions 
correctly. New Track Mathematics wishes you the best in your examination. So subscribe to this channel for regular updates to support this education charity that is ongoing, that we are giving out to people without charge. Subscribe now to support us. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you watch more of our subsequent video. Wish you the best in your